Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're going to cover a technique known as LoRa or low rank adaptation. Please note that we're not, going, we're not going like too technical, I would say in this course. And the reason is because I'm targeting how to apply generative artificial intelligence in practice for business. And uh, here, I'm just gonna show you an intuition, just a very high level um, intuition of what do we mean by LoRa and why is it important. If you remember in the previous lecture, I covered how to do LLM fine tuning. And if you remember, the fine tuning process was a computationally expensive process and requires extensive compute and also it requires a lot of time. So LoRa, is simply a technique that is used in large language models to reduce the computational cost and memory requirements by adapting only a small subset of the model parameters during fine tuning. Let me show you what I mean by that. So on the left hand side here, this is just the regular fine tuning process. From a very high level here, this is an artificial neural network that has weights. And these are what we call it pre-trained weights. And we have inputs. And then if you remember, we take these inputs, it's a matrices multiplication through the network to generate outputs. And these what the outputs look like. So in regular fine tuning, what we do is we create what we call a delta W. So we want to take a look at, okay, let's say this weight, for example, uh, connecting this one X neuron X to neuron, uh, another neuron Y. Uh, let's say this weight is, let's say, 1, or value of 1. What I do is I calculate what we call a delta W, which is the weight update. How much do I need to add or subtract on the original weight to come up with a newer weight that reduces our error? So what you see here is the weight update matrix, delta W, is going to be kind of the same size as the actual pre-trained weights or the actual neural network. And that's why this process is actually quite extensive, right? Because now I need to have a massive uh, delta W uh, matrix that is going to go here and update the pre-trained weights. Instead of doing that, we are going to implement a technique known as LoRa. Think of it as we just wanted to reduce the amount of compute power. We want to reduce the matrix size. And of course, we want to reduce the memory requirements by leveraging this technique. So let me show you. So what we do is we take this weight update here matrix, the delta W, we kind of break it down to two matrices, matrix A and matrix B. And these two matrices simply approximate the values of the weights that we got in here when we do kind of regular fine tuning. Let me show you an example. So if delta W has, let's say 10,000 rows, and 20,000 columns, that means it is going to store 200 million parameters, okay? So in regular fine tuning, I'm gonna have 200 million parameters to play with. I need to maybe change this weight by 10% up, maybe change this weight by 2% down, and so on. What we do here in LoRa is we say, okay, if we chose A and B matrices, which is this matrix B here, this matrix A, to be, let's say, with R equal to eight, R is the inner dimension here. What's going to happen is A, the matrix A, is gonna have 10,000 rows and eight columns, while the matrix B is gonna have eight rows times 20,000 uh, 20, columns. That means if I calculate the overall number of parameters for the LoRa technique, it's going to be 240,000 parameters compared to the 200 million parameters, that's 830 per times less than the original kind of fine tuning process. And that's the idea of LoRa. And of course, there's a lot of math behind the scenes. I've included here as well a, the paper that covers LoRa. It was actually released back in 2021. If you're interested, all I wanted to know specifically for this course is LoRa is a te technique that reduces the amount of memory requirement compute power that we need to train or to perform fine tuning to our LLMs by taking this matrix, breaking it down to two, 
and that is going to reduce the memory requirements quite extensively. And that's all I want you to know for now. And that's it. That's all I have for this kind of high level intuition lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next lecture.